Well, this is our annual Easter picnic. Unfortunately, we're a little short this year. The Clark Club's not here, and the Bounce House is not here, and I don't know why, but we've had a pretty good turnout this morning. My group over here is doing water, ice cream, coffee, and uh, the Cook Shack down there has the hot dogs, hamburgers, chips, and their usual end. So, uh, yes, we have Wings of Love, and just uh, actually is part of our group at the church, too, as well at Heritage, uh, but they're really good. We're having a good time, and uh, again. And the gunfighters brought out their train. Yep, the train's here for the kids to ride in, and it's just, uh, actually there's a horse event in the back there. I'm not too sure what it is, but there looks like they're having fun back there. And The kids are having fun, and the family's sitting on the grass here just enjoying the picnic. Oh yeah, and they love our ice cream too. They keep coming back for <laughs> seconds and thirds. Is that what they're doing? Um, the kids are also getting involved in the singing and a little bit of dancing too as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a future generation, so if they want to dance, we want to kind of encourage them. The Holiday Task Force is a group of a lot of volunteers and a lot of the community support. Well, we have about 30 to 35 in our group. We meet between the three meals of Christmas, uh, New Year's, and, yeah, I'm sorry, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. We meet about twice a month, year round, to plan these events. Yeah. Everything is donated by local merchants and individuals. And we just have a blast doing it. Uh, when we have our dinner over at the coalition building, we've had up to six to eight hundred people go through there wow. and deliver about another four or five hundred meals. So uh, again, this meal we don't deliver here, but you got to come on down because it's a lot of fun to be here in the park. It's a beautiful day. Couldn't be any better. Thanks. No more.